You know, there's a lot in this film. There really is. This is a this is about a generation of men who I'm sure it's maybe your dad. You know, it's it's it, they're alive and well. We're we're dealing with history. Uh, I think I want people to walk away with understanding, not just about the sort of the, the journey of the main character, but the journey of all of these guys. There's there's something very South African about this experience that we're trying to bring back so people can talk about it. I think I'm always careful not to be too didactic about what I want people to feel. The movie asks a question, and so I think whatever that question evokes in people will be, I, I, hope, I hope it gives them a meaningful experience. It's been an overwhelming roller coaster. Um, there are two highlights. The first highlight would be premiering in Venice at the Venice Film Festival. And second is being here tonight, bringing this film home to South Africa. This film is about South Africa, for South Africans, and I just urge everybody to go and see the film before they pass judgment on the name of the film. We can talk about it afterwards, but please come and see our film. You know, like as I grew up, I heard obviously from my father and other people what it was like in the army, but not really. They didn't speak about it a lot. And then when I also, because I play a straight character and a homophobic and racist character, that's completely against who I am, you know, like I'm living my best life. And then for me, but the, the, the sad part about it is I grew up with all these kind of people around me. Like I had to fit in with them. So for me, I just drew from them. I did, obviously I did a lot of research about the time and I actually confronted people, like not confronted, but I really asked, sat people down in my life and asked them what was it like. Um, and physically as well, it was a lot of training because like I'm a bit older than my character and I had to rip down a little bit. So physically as well, there was a lot of training, yeah. Look, you know, when we, when we first started um, researching this film, one thing that, that, that hit me really quickly was the photography of the era, you know? And I referenced hugely the, the, the semi-amateur photography that the soldiers, um, you know, uh, took on their, on their, on their Kodak uh, Instamatic cameras. And, um, you know, it's got such a specific nostalgic feel. And it's super real, you know? And uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to approach the film photographically in that sense. I wanted to be an unseen soldier. I wanted... I wanted uh, you know, the, the viewer to kind of experience the film from, from the eyes of someone that was part of the movement, you know, um, and that kind of drove the lensing, where we placed the camera, um, how we lit the film, um, you know, our aspect ratio that we chose, yeah. It's, it's been a long journey, like you said, it's, it was a two-year casting process, it was a very intense shoot, um, you know, the subject matter and everyone got into character and Oliver tried to create an environment on set where we weren't acting, we were really trying to live in the time and in the people that we were portraying. So yeah, it, it took a toll on you physically and mentally, um, but it was a very, very uh, needed learning experience thing for all of us. And it showed me so much about South African history that I didn't know. So it was a, it was a beautiful window into that. We did start with the boot camp, um, which was very fortunate for me. Um, I got a lot of inspiration from there to see um, how it, just a little bit of how it was like in the army back then. Um, and I drew my inspiration from there and then also Googled a lot, asked my parents, um, my uncles, everyone, just just learned a lot from them um, to just get a bit of that mind space and then to build from that to get my character ready for the film.